Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Pennywise. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that I'm working on. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft Realms, where you have the chance to play survival or creative mode with me, and if you're a channel member, you gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media, I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description, and if you're on Windows 10 Edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is FelixGuamanYT. Go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. So we're going to go ahead and start off by using the gray concrete so let's put that in our hand and we're gonna fly down here and we're gonna go to this kind of upside down l shape that we have right here and we're gonna start underneath this black concrete and right here we're gonna be placing one gray concrete so that's one once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the gray wool and now with the gray wool in our hand Starting underneath the gray concrete, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the going down the left. So starting from underneath it, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Next, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, going to this last gray wall that we placed on the right side of it, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Now moving up here, on top of these two gray walls, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta, so that's one. And then right next to this terracotta, uh, underneath this gray wall here, we're just going to be placing one cyan terracotta, so that's one. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. So switching over to the light gray concrete, moving up here to the left a bit, on the left side of this Cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete, that's one. And then place one light gray concrete down to the left, that's one. And now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta again, and going, uh, well, let's just make this easier, switching over to the placement block first, we're going to be adding one placement block on top of this cyan terracotta, so that's one placement. Then you're going to switch back over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta on top of this placement, so that's one. And then from here, we're just going to be placing one more block going up to the right. That's one. Let's get rid of the placement block. Next, we're going to move up here, back to where we started here. And we're going to start underneath this black concrete. Underneath it, we're just going to be placing from here, just two blocks going down. So that's one, two. Again, this is with the cyan terracotta. And then we're going to move one block over, and underneath this black concrete, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. So it should look like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, move down here. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here, staying within the outline. Fill this empty space here with the sign terracotta. Let's fill this in with sign terracotta. There we go. Now, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete, and we're going to move up here, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray concrete. So let's go and fill that in. There we go. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in these remaining empty spaces in between the black wall and the black concrete. But before we do that, we do have a little gap here that we need to close off. So first, let's switch over to the black wool, and we're going to be placing one black wool on top of these two black concrete, so let's just put this here first, there we go, one black wool on top of that, and then once we've done that, we're going to move over here to the right a bit, and now we can fill this little empty space here with the black wool, so fill this in with black wool, 
And now we can go ahead and switch over to the gray concrete and let's fill in these empty spaces here with the gray concrete. So let's fill this up. There we go. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Again, pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So what we're going to do next from here is we're going to switch over. Or we're going to like switch back over to the black wall and we're going to work from the top. So starting underneath these two black concrete. So from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray concrete and we're going to move up here, starting from this black wall underneath it. So from right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta and starting on the left side of this gray concrete right here with cyan terracotta. We're going to be placing one block to the left, so that's one. And then we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now, from here, we're just going to move over to the right until we go and uh, meet this one black concrete here. On the left side of it, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta, so that's one. And on top of this black concrete, we're going to be placing two blocks going up, that's one, two. And then from here, we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete, and we're going to be placing one gray concrete on top of these three black concrete, so that's one gray concrete. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray wool. So let's fill this in. There we go, and it should look like this. Now, with the gray wool st still in our uh, hand, let's move to this next empty space, and we're going to start from the top left. So starting from all the way up here in this corner, underneath this black concrete, we're going to be adding two gray wools going down. That's one and two. Next, you're going to switch over to the gray concrete, starting from the first gray wool on the right side. So from here, we're going to be adding two gray concretes going to the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to switch over to the black wool, starting on the right side of these gray concretes. We're going to be adding two black wools going down, so that's one and two. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray concrete. On the right side of this black wool up here, we're going to be adding one gray concrete. That's one. And now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Underneath these two black wools, we're going to be placing one gray wool. That's one. And once you've done that, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's go up, back up here, get rid of that placement block, head back down here. And from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Get rid of that placement block. And once you've done that, we're just going to quickly switch over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, let's head back up here to this one gray wall. Underneath it, we're going to be adding three light gray concretes going down. That's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, switch over to the terracotta and fill in this empty space that's right here with the terracotta. Fill this in. And then we're going to switch over to the gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the gray concrete. Now, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta again. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to move back up here, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. So fill that in. All right, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. So we're going to put that next to our placement. So with the light gray concrete, we're going to head down here to the bottom left corner of this empty space. And on the right side of this black concrete, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete. That's one. On the right side of this light gray concrete. So starting from here, we're going to be adding four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Next, next you're going to be placing just one block going up on the right. That's one. And now from here, we're going to move back down and we're going to go back to these four gray wools that we have here. 
We're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of the gray wool that's down here. So that's one placement block. Then you're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete. And starting on top of this placement, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block. And now head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing another three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. So it should look like this. What we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta and we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that are here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill those in. There we go. Filling in those empty spaces. Again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Of course, you can pause the video now if you need to just to compare. Now let's switch over to the black wool. Head over to this empty space here, and we're going to start off by uh, starting at the top left corner up here. Underneath uh, this black concrete right here, we're just going to be placing two black walls going across to the right. That's one, two. Now once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the gray concrete, and on the right side of this black wall, we're going to be adding from here six gray concretes going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we're going to switch over to the gray wool. So switching over to the gray wool. Starting from uh, where we left off. There we go. From here, we're going to be placing just four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of that placement block. Now that we've done that, let's switch back over to the gray concrete. Let's head back up here. Let's go back to these two black walls. Underneath it, we're also going to be placing two gray concretes going across underneath it. So that's one and two. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And on the underneath the left block of this gray concrete, of these two here, we're just going to be placing one gray wall. So that's one gray wall. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta, and with the cyan terracotta we're going to be placing one block on the right side of this gray wool, so that's one. And now starting underneath this gray wool, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going down, so that's one and two. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is we're going to start underneath these blocks right here, these black concretes, so starting from here. We're just going to be placing five Cyan terracotta is going down, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Now that we have that all done, what we're going to do next is we're going to fly back up here, and we're going to switch over to the gray concrete. Starting from this black concrete, underneath it, we're just going to be placing one gray concrete. That's one. Switch over to the gray wall, add one gray wall underneath it. So that's one. Switch over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta underneath the gray wool. So that's one. Next, we're going to switch over to the... We're actually not going to switch over to anything just yet. Let's go back down here. Let's go to this black concrete here, these seven black concretes. Starting from the left side of the bottom block, so from here, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going up. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. Now, with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that are here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill those in. There we go. Now, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to move over to the next empty spot. Let's start off with the black wall. We're going to start at this little empty space that's up here. Starting uh, from this black concrete underneath it, we're just going to be placing one black wall. That's one. Switch over to the to switch over to the gray concrete. There we go. And starting underneath this one black wall, we're going to be adding a two gray concretes going down. That's one, two. Next, switch over to the gray wall. Add one gray wall. That's one. Switch over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta. That's one. Now, with from this one cyan terracotta from here, we're just going to be placing eight blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Next, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to be adding two gray wools going down underneath it. So that's one and two. So it should be making contact with the ground. And now from here, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta again. And we're going to move over to the left. And starting underneath these black concretes, these seven black concretes, we're going to be adding seven cyan terracottas going down underneath it. So that's one, two, three, four, five six and seven next we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the light gray concrete let's fill this in so it should look like that and now that we've done that we're going to switch over to the black wool again and let's go back up here starting from this black concrete like we did uh, this little empty space here Underneath it, we're going to be adding just from here, just two black walls going down. That's one, two. Next, you're going to switch over to the gray concrete. Add one gray concrete. That's one. Switch over to the gray wool now. And we're going to be adding one gray wool. That's one. And now switch over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta underneath it. That's one. Now let's switch back over to the gray wool move one block over and we're going to start underneath this black concrete underneath it we're going to be adding from here two gray wools going down that's one and two next you're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta and we're going to, underneath the gray wool we're going to be adding 10 cyan terracottas going down that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray concrete. Let's fill this in. There we go. Now that we've done that, let's switch back over to the black wool. Let's go back to this, uh, or to this next area, and we're going to start from uh, the top right corner of this little space here. So starting underneath this black concrete, we're going to be adding three black wools going down. That's one, two, three. And once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the gray concrete. And we're going to be adding two gray concretes going down. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool and add two gray wools going down. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to sw uh, switch over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to be adding nine cyan terracottas going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now that we've done that, we're going to head back up here. And we're going to go to this black concrete now. And let's switch over to the black wool. We're going to be adding one black wool underneath it. So that's one. Now let's switch over to the gray concrete. And underneath this black wool, we're going to be placing two gray concretes going down. That's one, two. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray wool. Add two gray walls going down. That's one, two. And once we've done that, let's switch over to the cyan terracotta and add three cyan terracottas going down. That's one, two, three. Now let's head back up here, going back to this black concrete now. Underneath it, we're going to, first of all, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be adding two gray walls going down underneath it. So that's one, two. Then we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going down underneath it. So that's one, two, three. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and switch over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, we're going to move over here to the right, and we're going to go and start underneath this black concrete part of the 15 black concretes that we have here going down so starting underneath these 15 we're going to be adding eight gray walls going down so that's one two three four five six seven eight that's eight gray walls should be making contact with the ground next we're going to switch over to the placement block and on the left side of this gray wall down here we're going to be adding one placement block to the left so that's one and then you're going to be switching over to the gray wool again. And starting on the left side of this placement, we're going to be adding four gray wools going up. That's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to be... Oh, or not the gray concrete, sorry. We're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and do that now to fill this in. It's the light gray concrete. There we go. So it should look like this when you're done filling it in. Now we're going to move over 
and we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now, starting off with the black wool, we're going to head up here to the very top. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and like fill in this empty space here real quick. First, let's switch over to the gray concrete. Now, this little empty space here at the very bottom of it, on top of this black concrete, we're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one. And switch over to the black wool and just fill in this empty space here with the black wool. Let's get this little small part done and out of the way. There we go. Okay, now working on this empty, this bigger empty space, starting at the very top. So underneath this black concrete here, we're going to be placing three black walls going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three. Now once you've done that, switch over to the gray concrete and let's go back up here. Starting underneath this black wall, we're going to be placing three gray concretes going at diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. Once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the gray wall and add one gray wall underneath this gray concrete. So that's one gray wall. Once you've done that, what you're going to do next is we're going to move back up here to this next gray concrete. Underneath it, we're going to be adding four gray walls going down. That's one, two, three. Four. And once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the black wall, head back up here. Underneath this gray concrete, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going down on the right with the black wall. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like this. Now, let's switch over to the cyan terracotta. And on top of this black wall here, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. That's one. Then you're going to switch over to the gray wall and fill in this empty space here with the gray wall. Let's fill that in. Now that we've done that, let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And we'll start underneath this black wall. That's part of these two. Not the one that's down here, but this one up here. Underneath this black wall, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going down. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And once we've done that, we're going to move up here to the left. Underneath this one gray wool, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going down. That's one, two. Switch over to the gray wool. Add two gray wools going down underneath these two. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this so far. Next, we're going to switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And underneath these two gray wools, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going down. So that's one, two, three. Switch back over to the gray wool, add two gray wools going down. That's one, two. Now switch back over to the cyan terracotta, add five cyan terracottas going down. That's one, two, three, four, five. Switch back over to the gray wool, and add three gray wools going down. That's one, two, three. So after we've placed these three blocks, I have immediately realized we used the wrong block. Not for these three, but for the ones that are next to it. These eight gray walls. I don't remember if I told you to use concrete, but either way, this, this is supposed to be eight gray concrete. So let's go ahead. If, if I did say concrete, then so be it. But if you did put wool, we have to put eight gray concretes, not gray wool. So that's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. Okay, just a little small mistake. Fixed it very quickly. Okay, so let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. Underneath these three gray walls, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta. That's one. Switch over to the gray concrete, and now we're going to be adding two gray concretes going down. That's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. Once we've done that, we're going to move down here to the bottom right of these two here. So on the right side, we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta and we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. That's one. Switch over to the gray wool, add two gray wools going up. That's one, two. Switch over to the cyan terracotta, add three cyan terracottas going up. That's one, two, three. Well, and once we've done that, let's head back down here on the right side of this cyan terracotta. With the cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. So it should look like this. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to fly back up here. Let's fly back up here. And I want you to go to back to these two cyan terracottas. We're going to switch over to the gray wool. And underneath these two, we're going to be adding three gray wools going down. So that's one, two, three. 
Next, we're going to switch back over to the Cyan Terracotta, add three Cyan or not, not three, but add two Cyan Terracottas going down. That's one and two. That's two. And now we're going to switch back over to the Gray Wool, and we're going to be adding two Gray Wools going down. That's one and two. So it should look like this. Now that we've done that, let's head back down here, going back down here, back to this Cyan Terracotta. On the right side of it, we're going to be switching over to the placement block and putting a placement block there. So that's one placement. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Cyan Terracotta, and we're going to be placing one Cyan Terracotta on the right side of this placement. So that's one. Get rid of the placement now. And now from here, we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and we're going to be adding one gray wool to the right side of the Cyan Terracotta. So that's one gray wool. Next, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the placement block. On top of this gray wool, we're going to be adding it to placements going up. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray wool, add two gray wools going up. That's one, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. So switching over to the light gray wool, starting from the top block on the right side of this gray wool, so right here, we're going to be adding two light gray wools going to the right. That's one, two. Next, we're going to start underneath the right block, and we're going to be adding three light gray wools going down. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Next, switch over to the Cyan Terracotta, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the Cyan Terracotta. Fill this in. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the gray wool, and we're going to move back over here to the left. Going back to this one Cyan Terracotta, on top of it, we're going to be adding two gray wools going up. That's one and two. Once you've done that, switch back over to the Cyan Terracotta. And we're going to be adding two Cyan Terracottas going up. That's one, two. Next, switch back over to the gray wool. Starting on top of this Cyan Terracotta, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete, and we're going to move back down here to the right. We're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray concrete. So let's fill this in. And once you've done that, you're also going to be filling in this empty space over here to the left with the light gray concrete. So let's fill this space here as well, with the light gray concrete. There we go. Now let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. So switching back over to the cyan terracotta, let's go back down here to these two light gray walls. Starting on top of the left block of these two, so starting from here, we're going to be placing from here, three sets of fours going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two, and one, two, three, four, three. That's three sets of fours going up on the left. And it started on the light gray wall. So it should look exactly like this. Now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the Actually, we're not going to be switching over to anything just yet. We're going to move back up here. Let's go back, and we're going to start from these two black concretes underneath them. So starting from right here, we're going to be placing one Cyan Terracotta. That's one. Now switch over to the light gray concrete. Add one light gray concrete. That's one. Switch to the light gray wool, and we're going to be placing two light gray wools going down. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Once you've done that, we're going to move over one block over, and underneath these four cyan terracottas, we're going to be adding one light gray wool underneath it. So that's one. And it should look exactly like this. Now, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the, or not the cyan terracotta, we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Uh, now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in four empty spaces. It's going to be this empty space here, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to be filling in these empty spaces with the light gray concrete. So let's fill those in. 
is form these spaces, of course, staying within the outline. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in these three remaining empty spaces here with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and fill those in with light gray wool. And I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see everything, everything that we've done so far. Of course, you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is move on to this next empty space here. And for this next part, it's going to be a little checkboard pattern going on. So I kind of want to get that done first. So to do that, we're going to start off with the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to start actually all the way down here to the bottom right corner this time of this empty space. So starting right here next to this black concrete. So starting right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Once you've done that, we're going to move over here. And, or not move, but we're going to start from here, the block that we just placed. We're going to be placing one block going down to the left at one. So it should look like this, okay? So now that we've gotten that done, we're going to move to the opposite side now, here, next to this black concrete on the right side of it, starting from there. We're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right, so that's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch back over to the placement block, head back down here to this light gray wall. On the right side of it, we're going to be placing a placement block, so that's one. Switch back over to the light gray wall, and on the right, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. And we're going to do this same thing again. Go down here to this light gray wall on the right side, put a placement block. And then switch back over to the light gray wall on the right side of the placement. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Oh, three. Now let's get rid of these placement blocks. All right, so everything should be looking exactly like this so far. So what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to switch over to the the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to move over here to the right. This empty space here, just above the light gray wall, we're going to be filling this empty space here with light gray concrete. So fill this in. And once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, starting or moving one block over on top of this light gray wall right here, we're going to be placing three cyan terracottas going diagonal up to the left. So three diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. So it should look exactly like this so far. Now, once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, starting underneath this cyan terracotta, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three gray walls going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of that placement block. Now that we've done that, let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. Let's just move this block over here. Oh. There we go. Alright, so switching back over to the cyan terracotta, starting underneath this gray wall. So starting from right here, we're going to be adding two cyan, terracotta, two cyan terracottas going to the left. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. I now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now, starting on top of the left block of these two, so starting from here, we're going to be placing two sign terracottas going up. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing another two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. So once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switch over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, all of these single empty spaces here get filled in with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill those in now. Fill these in with the light gray concrete. There we go. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. Let's get back to these two here that we started 
underneath that one gray wool. Starting from the left block of these two signed terracotta. So from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. I'll place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And it should look like this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to move back over here. Let's go back to this gray wool here. We're going to switch back over to the gray wool. There you go. So starting from this gray wool that we had here, we're going to, uh, from here, we're going to be placing uh, two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding two blocks going up on top of this one gray wool. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. All right, let me just move some blocks around. Oh. All right, so now starting from the top block of these two cyan terracottas, so we're going to be placing from here three blocks going up on the right with cyan terracotta. So that's one, two, three. And once we've done that, starting from the bottom block of this sign terracotta, we're going to be placing eight sets of twos going down on the right. Eight sets of twos going down the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, and one, two, eight. That's eight sets of twos. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. All right, so now that we've done that, let's head back again up here to the top block of these three. Starting from here, we're going to be placing from here just two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And once you've done that, we're going to start again from the top block of these three, except this time we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. And now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and we're going to be placing one gray wool on top of this uh, sign terracotta. So that's one gray wool on top, and we're also going to be placing one gray wool on the left side of it. So that's one. So one gray on top and one gray to the left. Now let's switch over to the gray concrete, and with gray concrete, we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces up here with the gray concrete. So let's fill those in. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare, because what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in all of the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's fill this in. Fill this in with the light gray concrete. There we go. Fill this in. And while we're passing the time, uh, I do want to remind you guys that I do have Minecraft Realms. So if you do decide to join my Discord, you do have the opportunity to uh, play and join the Minecraft Realms. I have both survival and creative. Some of the people that have joined the creative one have just started. So it's still a fresh realm that you guys can join. At the moment, it's only available for channel members, but I do plan on opening up a Minecraft Realm for the public. Okay, so now that we have that filled in with the light gray concrete. What we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to uh, 
the let's see we're actually going to start from here so what we're going to do is first switch over to the black wool now with the black wool we're going to start up here in this little corner underneath this black these two black concretes we're going to be placing one black wool so that's one and now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Next, let's switch over to the gray wool. Now, with the gray wool, we're going to head down here to, let's say, to these three. To the bottom block of these three black concretes. They're making contact with this one black wool. So starting from here... What we're going to do from here is place three gray wool, or not three, four gray wools going down on the left. Four gray wools going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Once we've done that, we're just going to quickly switch, get rid of the place in blank. We're going to switch over to the um, gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray concrete. So fill this in. There we go. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the gray wool again. So let's switch back over to the gray wool. And we're going to start from the bottom block of these four gray wools. So starting from this block right here, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to be placing six sets of twos going down on the right. Six sets of twos going down the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. One, two, six, one, two, seven, or seven, <laughs> six. I went overboard there for a second. Okay, so now that we have our six sets of twos, count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now from here, let's go. Uh, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces down here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill this, oops, and this with the cyan terracotta. So it looks like that. And once you've done that, we're going to head all the way back up here. Let's go back up here, and we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill these two empty spaces here with the cyan terracotta. So it looks like that. And now we're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's fill those in with the light gray concrete. There we go. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. All right, so now we're going to move up here, and we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta again. So switching back over to the cyan terracotta, let's get back up here. I'm going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. Hopefully you didn't fill this in with the light gray concrete, but if you did, that's fine. Just go ahead and break that and fill this in with the cyan terracotta. I didn't realize that we left the space open there. <laughs> I thought we already filled that in. Okay, so now still with the cyan terracotta in our hand, we're going to move to these four black concretes. We're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going down. That's one, two. Now, once you've done that, starting from the bottom block on the right side of these four, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right with the cyan terracotta. So that's one. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to be switching over to the gray wall. So switch over to the gray wall. And starting underneath this cyan terracotta, the first one that we placed, starting from there underneath it, we're going to be placing three gray wools going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And now that we have our three, what we're going to do next is place four sets of twos going down on the right. Four sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. One, two, three, and one, 
to 4. Let's get rid of the placement blocks, head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Get rid of those placement blocks, head back down here. And from here, let's switch over to the sign terracotta. Now with sign terracotta, from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of the placement block. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. So it should look exactly like this. Next is we're going to switch over to... Actually, we won't switch over to anything just yet. Let's go ahead and finish this outline first. Uh, so continuing on with the sign terracotta, let's go back up here, back to these two gray wools. Starting from the bottom block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left with the sign terracotta. So that's one, two. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is you're going to be placing, or starting from the top block, I should say, from uh, the top block, this block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. So now let's switch over to the placement block. Now with the placement block, we're going to move over here to the top block of these four cyan terracottas. On the right side of it, so right there, we're going to be adding one placement block. Once you've done that, switch back over to the cyan terracotta. Starting underneath the placement block, we're going to be adding three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements now. And once we, we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're actually going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, going back to this cyan terracotta, underneath it, we're going to be placing four light gray wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Should be making contact with the ground. Once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to start from the cyan terracotta that's down here on the right side of it, so starting from right there, with the light gray wall. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right, so that's one, two, and three. And it should look like this. Now let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta and going back to this same light gray wool, starting on top of it this time, we're going to be placing four cyan terracottas going diagonal up to the up to the left. So four diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And once we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And we're going to move back down to this one cyan terracotta. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one light gray wool. So that's one. Now that we've done that, let's switch over to the cyan terracotta again. On top of this one light gray wool, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going up. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. Seven diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four five, six, and seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And now let's head back down here, going back again to these two cyan terracottas, starting from the bottom block this time, so from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So I do want to apologize for some of the frames that have been dropping throughout this tutorial part because I do edit my videos halfway through each part just to double check to see if uh, something went wrong with the audio or the video and I've noticed that the frames have been dropping so I do apologize for that. Okay so now what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. So let's switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, let's head back to this cyan terracotta down here. And from here, we're going to be placing two gray wools going up on the right. So that's one, two. 
Once you've done that, starting from the bottom block of these two gray walls, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Next, starting from the top block of these two gray walls, so from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left with a gray wall, so that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Let's get rid of that placement block. And while we're here, let's go ahead and quickly switch over to the light gray concrete. And on top of this one gray wall here, so from there, with the light gray concrete, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, oh, two, three, four, and five. Should be making contact with the ground, so it should look like this. Now let's switch back over to the gray wall, head back up here to where we left off, starting from the top block of these two blocks. So starting from here, what we're going to do from here is we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place two blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two. Oh. All right, so now that we have these two blocks here, we're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete. And starting from the bottom block of these two gray walls on the right side of it, so starting from here, we're going to be placing three light gray concretes going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray wall, starting from the top block of these two gray walls, so starting from here, we're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Head back up here. And from here we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two. And now that we've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the cyan terracotta. So fill that empty space. And then once you've done that, we're going to be filling in these empty spaces here in between the gray wool outline and the black concrete outline, including these little empty spaces in between the light gray concrete and the black concrete. Uh, we're going to be filling in just these empty spaces here, these empty spaces that we just created following the outline of the black concrete. Let's go ahead and fill those in with the cyan terracotta. Let's go ahead and do that now real quick. Fill this in. There we go. All the way down there. And once we've done that, we're also going to be filling in these two empty spaces down here. You see these empty spaces in between the gray wool and the light gray concrete? This space and this space gets filled in with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill that in. So it should look exactly like this so far, okay? Now, what we're going to do is switch back over to the gray wool. Let's head back up here to where we have these two blocks going diagonal. Starting from this gray wool right here, we're going to be placing from here two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placement block. Head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, what you're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in this empty space here along with this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Sign terracotta, so it looks like that. Now let's switch back over to the gray wall again. And actually, let's switch back to the black wall. Now with the black wall, we're going to head up here in this empty space, going up here. And we're going to start underneath this black concrete. Right there, with the black wall, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the gray concrete and with gray concrete let's head back up here underneath this black wall we're going to be placing three gray concretes going diagonal down to the left so that's one or two i should say two not three but two so that's one two so that's two gray concretes 
Now switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool starting on the right side of this gray concrete, we're going to be placing one black wool. That's one. Now switch back over to the gray wool starting on the right side of this black wool. We're going to be placing two gray wools going down. So that's one, two. I should say switching to the gray wool. <laughs> so now that we have our two gray wools here, we're just going to be placing one gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Okay. So it should look exactly like this. I'll fly back a bit. Remember, just always remember, guys, if I'm going a little too fast, make sure to hit that pause button. You don't want to fall a few seconds behind because it's very easy to get kind of lost when um, you feel like the tutorial is going a little too fast. All right, so now what we're going to do next from here is we're going to move over here to the left, and we're going to go to this gray concrete starting underneath it with the gray wool. We're going to be placing six blocks going at diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Again, make sure to pause the video now if you need to, just compare. So now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here, right here, this empty space along with these little tiny empty spaces here. So these little empty spaces here, along with this space right here, gets filled in with the sign terracotta, only those spaces. So let's fill this in with the sign terracotta. There we go. And just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna fly back all the way back so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Because now for the last step for this tutorial part, we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, you're going to go ahead and fill in the remaining empty spaces here, all right here, with the light gray concrete while I go ahead and switch out battery packs apparently. Okay. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now don't worry about pausing the video now because I'm going to be pausing now and continuing the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Pennywise in the next part. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that I'm working on. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft Realms, where you have the chance to play survival or creative mode with me. And if you're a channel member, you gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media. I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description. And if you're on Windows 10 or on the Xbox, my gamertag is FelixSquamanYT. Go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Pennywise. And make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.